diagonal matrix. Okay. But anyway, this uh, diagonal entries, diagonal entries correspond to eigenvalues. Okay. Diagonal entries correspond to correspond to that uh, eigenvalues of matrix X. Okay. I think I want to solve this problem. Okay. So because uh, very likely a similar problem will uh, will will be included on final exam. Okay. So let me show you how to. Yeah. So this is a uh, steps uh, steps. Okay. So you first find eigenvalues. For, uh, for each eigenvalues, so you find eigenspace. Okay. Of course, the basis of each eigenspace. Basis of eigenspaces. Okay, so collect all bases. Uh, is that enough? Then okay, you check the sum of dimensions from eigenspaces. Then okay, use the sum equal systems, then it's diagonalizable. Okay. You just use the uh, yeah. Okay, let me show you so uh, let me let me try to solve this problem, okay? I, I did not prepare. <laughs> let, me try. let me try to solve my hand if I can solve this one. Suppose this is a final exam. Okay, so I try to solve by hand. I did not solve it. I just uh, called it from the textbook. So now I will try to solve by hand. Okay. So let's see. Uh, First, uh, we will calculate the uh, eigenvalues. Okay, eigen eigenvalues. Okay, we need to calculate the determinant of a minus lambda i sanity. Okay, so equals to uh, determinant. Okay, so a minus lambda i i. So just uh, subtract lambda from uh, each uh, diagonal entry. So we have one minus lambda. Uh, zero one zero zero one minus lambda zero 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 minus lambda. Okay. Wow. This is a, this is a special yeah special matrix. It's easy, easy to solve. Okay. So just uh, this is just the uh, upper triangle. Okay. Upper triangle. So equals upper triangle. Okay. Determine of this upper triangle. Sorry. Just diagonal. Okay, so just the one minus lambda times one minus lambda times left lambda. So that equals to zero. That's a zero. Okay. So have so lambda y equals to one uh, with uh, multiplicity. Uh, you break multiplicity. Okay. Two. Okay. Okay, so this one is a uh, uh, divide multiplicity two, and uh, this one is uh, sorry, this is one. So this is a uh, uh, second uh, eigenvalue zero with uh, algebraic uh, multiplicity one. That's the one. Okay, so we are done. So we have found two eigenvalues. First one is one, and second one is zero. Okay, now let's try to find uh, eigenspaces. I guess uh, by eigen space of each uh, for each eigen value. Lambda y goes to one. Okay. Lambda goes to one to one. So we solve uh, we solve this uh, homogeneous linear system. Okay, we solve this one. A times a minus lambda one uh, times x equals to zero vector. So we solve this. We solve this one. Right? Is this right? Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, we solve this uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so so lambda one is one. So one minus one is zero. One minus one is zero. This is all zero. Okay. So just uh, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. What? So many zero. 
zero, zero. Negative one. What's this? What's the eigenspace? Oh, what, what's the eigenspace? Huh? How many leading one? How many leading one here? Could you imagine? How many uh, leading ones are there? One. So what's the rank of the what is the rank of the image? One. Okay, good. So what's the rank of the kernel? Oh, good. Okay. So dimension of the kernel, dimension of dimension of this eigenspace, uh, I think it's two. Yeah, it's two. Yeah, because the rank of the kernel of this n minus i. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay
So what happened on the first eigenspace, right? First eigenspace is just a span. It's a span of these two, yeah, two basic vectors. Yeah. Okay, let's let's try to find uh, when lambda two to zero. Lambda two to zero, let's try to find eigenspace for eigenvalue zero, okay? So when lambda is zero, zero, this is one. One, 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 zero, right? So, so n minus zero time identity, right? Uh, x equal to zero, zero vector. So this is just here, this is a zero. So that was just x, x matrix x, okay? So this matrix is uh, equal to matrix x, okay? So equal to n and x equal to zero, okay? And what is f? Okay? So I just uh, without lambda, it's f, okay? So it's uh, uh, one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, 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 okay? Okay, so x1, x2, x3, equals to zero, zero, zero. zero. So, so our, this one is already the reduced relation form. Okay, what's the rank of this matrix? Rank? Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah. What's the rank of this matrix? Yeah. So, to the right. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, so, so you have uh, two leading ones, two leading ones. Okay, therefore, the rank is two. And also the the, the, dimen uh, the dimension of the image is so yeah. dimension of the image yeah. dimension of the image equals the rank of the matrix. Yeah. So, so therefore the dimension of the kernel is one. Yeah. Yeah. Dimension of the The dimension of a kernel is just uh, 3 minus 2, okay? 3 minus rank of 2, okay? It was 1. So uh, you have a. Uh, okay? W what is the. Uh, which one is the redundant? Which vector is the. Which column is the uh, redundant? Third one. So we call this one W3. Okay, W3. W1. <coughs> W2. Okay? So can you tell me the rank of this because W3 equals to W1, okay? So W1 equals to W3. So you give, give us uh, W1 minus W3 equals to zero vector, okay? So you change this one, the linear combination of W1, W2, W3, you, you have a coefficient. You put the you know, vector, so this one is, is a vector in the kernel, okay? Okay, so that's why you have uh, one, one, in kernel, in kernel, okay? In kernel, n minus lambda to r okay, in this kernel, okay? So we call this V3, because we have V1, V2, but here we call this V3, okay? V3. Okay, dimension one. Dimension of a kernel is one. You have found a non-zero vector in this dimension. Okay, so this is the basis. Basis. Okay, base three is the basis. Okay. Base three is the basis. Basis in, in kernel. Okay, in this kernel. Okay, this kernel, kernel is called the eigenspace. The okay, new term, the okay, eigenspace. Eigenspace for this. Uh, okay. kernel of this matrix is the uh, eigenspace. Eigenspace for this eigenvalue zero. Okay. So it was zero because uh, this eigenspace for eigenvalue zero. Okay. Okay. So we have a basis v one v two. Uh, v one v two in in this eigenspace with associated with eigenvalue one. We have a, a basis a basis. Okay. Of uh, eigenspace uh, for the eigenvalue zero. Okay. So you put all. You collect all bases, okay? So therefore, we collect all bases, collect to the one, okay? Collect all bases vector. 
Okay, so we'll have V1, V2, V3. Okay, is it enough? Is it enough? V1, V2, V3. Okay, we'll collect it all. This is vectors, okay? So there are two here, V1, V2. And this is a third one here, okay? And, and uh, is it enough? Okay, enough? I think it's enough. Because uh, I checked the dimension. Yeah, dimension of this eigenspace is two, okay? Dimension, dimension of eigenspace associated with uh, eigenvalue one plus dimension of uh, eigenspace associated with eigenvalue zero. So it goes to two plus y to three, or it goes to n, and the sign. Okay? I should just count. One, two, three. Okay, three. Three equals to the size of the matrix X. Matrix X is a three by three. Okay. So therefore, uh, there are enough enough basis vectors. So therefore, uh, we can diagonalize. Okay. So, so yes, yes. Okay. So matrix I, matrix I can be okay. can be diagonalized. Okay. So diagonalized matrix A is impossible. Okay, if you can so yes, um, matrix A can be diagonalized. Okay. So finally you just write down what is the S, what is the P, okay? What is S or P, okay? Or whatever. Yeah. Diagonalize. Okay. So diagonal diagonalized matrix A as Inverse, inverse of S times I times S equals to B. Where, so what is S? What is S here? What's the invertible matrix S here? The kernel. Kernel? I, just this, yeah. I get, I get, I get, I get vectors. I get basis. I can base this, okay? So it's just, uh, yeah, V1, V2, V3, okay? V1 is, uh, yeah. V1 is, uh, let's go yeah. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and this one is uh, 1, 0, let, uh, let's go 1, okay? So 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, uh, 1, 0, let's go. So this one is called uh, eigenbasis, yeah, eigenbasis, yeah. First is uh, basis, and also uh, it's, uh, Eigenvectors. So this is called eigenbasis in 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 R group. Okay. So this one form uh, eigenbasis, eigenbasis and in in uh, three dimension. Okay. So and B. Okay. So this B is just diagonal. Okay. Di di diagonal with uh, with uh, corresponding eigenvalues on diagonal. Okay. Diagonal matrix um, with with diagonal entries being Eigenvalues corresponding. Okay, so this is a V1, V2. Uh, V1, V2 associated with eigenvalue 1. So that's why you have 1. 1. Okay? And this will be 3. V3, uh, V3 associated with eigenvalue 0. Okay, so this is 0. Okay, okay so all others are just 0, 0, because this, this is a diagonal matrix. Okay, so, so this is a diagonal matrix. Okay, this is a diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix. Okay. Okay. So this one, so this one is just uh, lambda one. So this is number one, yeah. So this is lambda one, lambda one, this is lambda two. Okay. So this uh, is lambda two, lambda two. This is lambda one. Okay. So this is lambda one. Okay. And this one is lambda two. Okay. So this is lambda two. And this is also the same value value, and this is the second, the second value value, okay? So this, I think that, that's the work. That's the solution to, to this problem. Okay, you have to, yeah. First, calculate uh, other values, and then you calculate the other values, and the other values, and then you have a basis, a basis, and you have a two. And then for the second other value, you find the other, uh, and you add in space, and you, you find a basis, and you collect uh, all basis vectors, so you count if the uh, the number of uh, 
eigen number of, uh, uh, sorry, the number of vectors in, in this eigen, put this, yeah, you collect them, if we, if we form, it forms, it forms, uh, an eigen basis, okay, so you one, just uh, kind of check whether the, uh, the sum of dimensions, dimensions of this basis equal to size, right, yes, yeah, uh, this is the basis, this uh, basis value is also equal to from um, other basis, okay, so uh, that is and then you draw down uh, this equation, uh, where S, S, uh, <coughs> include all uh, eigen basis vectors as columns, and E, uh, the eigenvalues, the eigenvalues with, uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, the eigenvalues entries, uh, the eigenvalues are uh, okay. <sighs> okay, so this problem is doable, is doable because uh, the calculation is not uh, put to record. It's, uh, uh, very basic because uh, this uh, this matrix A is a, a special case. Okay, so you see that uh, uh, this matrix you calculate the matrix actually is uh, upper triangular, so you need to calculate the arc values. Okay. okay, so uh, so shortly we we so let me give you yeah. By the way, by the way, uh, did I, did I uh, discuss the last quiz? No. At the beginning of the class? No, right? No. So I want to yeah, use this opportunity to uh, discuss your last quiz one more time. Okay. So, uh, so I, I do not predetermine the, your, uh, your class quiz. I just uh, based on your work and uh, my uh, experience. Okay. So roughly uh, for this class, Probably uh, more or less around uh, one third of our students uh, would uh, make F. Okay. So majority, so many students would make B, and then, okay, a number of students uh, could uh, make C. Okay. 